Rooms with indoor whirlpool tubs or outdoor hot tubs. Scrumptious breakfast delights are included with your stay, like stuffed French toast, pumpkin pancakes, and much more. Open all year round. Relax at the Black Forest Inn Bed and Breakfast, where you're treated as a guest, but feel right at home. The service department at Hershreds is the finest I've ever dealt with. The best service I have ever experienced from any dealer. We found your company is friendlier and easier to deal with than others we visited. Above and beyond service. I like the people, I like the service, and I would come back in a heartbeat. It's true, the best advertising is a happy customer, and after 105 years, we do have a lot of them. Hers Roots and Sturts, I-90 and exit 30. Don't drive by, drive in. At Denver Mattress, it's out with the old and in with the new. As we get ready for the new year, it's your chance to save. Find incredible pricing on 2015 clearance models. King sets starting at $299, queen sets $199, full sets $149, and twin sets from $129. 2015 models, sizes, and stock are in limited quantities. So hurry in to get your best selection on these extraordinary values. The year-end sell-off ends New Year's Eve. Denver Mattress, America's largest factory direct retailer. Shooter's Wood Fire Grill has the perfect gift this holiday season. Stop in and purchase a $25 gift card and get a $5 gift card free for yourself. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas from all of us at Shooter's Wood Fire Grill. You're watching News Center One Today. Sports with Justin Wickershaw. On Sunday afternoon in the ECHL, Rapid City lost its second straight as the Colorado Eagles shut out the rush 3 to nothing. This Thursday, the rush will try to get back on the winning track as they play host to the Tulsa Oilers. As of late, goals have been hard to come by for Rapid City and so have wins. In fact, the rush are 1-4-1 in their last six games and have dropped to fourth place in the West Division. Rush head coach Joe Ferris says his team needs to shoot, more, shoot the puck more and get to the net in order to score more goals. These teams in this division, it's so much more run and gun style hockey where, you know, they, they throw pucks at the net all the time. And that's, you know, those are the habits we've got to get into instead of looking for cute plays anytime we get uh, the puck where we can get traffic in front of the net that we need to throw pucks at the net. And, and, that, and that comes with experience. And, you know, we've got a lot of young guys here that are learning the pro game. But, uh, yeah, definitely. We, we know that in order to score goals, we need traffic and pucks to the net. And that's uh, one thing we, uh, we harp on all the time. Once again, the Rapid City Rush wrap up 2015 on Thursday night by hosting the Tulsa Oilers. The Rush will host the Oilers again on Saturday night, featuring halfway to 4th of July night with baseball specialty jerseys. Well, speaking of hockey, the Rushmore Thunder boys varsity team defeated Williston, North Dakota yesterday 3-2. Jacob Lindblom led the Thunder with two goals and Ryan Nolan scored the other goal. Rushmore will host Williston again this afternoon at 1.30 at the Thunderdome. Meanwhile, in boys basketball, Sisseton upset 5th-ranked St. Thomas Moore last night. Final score 50 to 47 plus Warner knocked off Harding County 60 to 38 on the girls side at top ranked St. Thomas Moore rolled over Aberdeen Ron Colley 51 to 17 and it was little wound over Harriet Selby by 10 points 46 to 36 and that's a look at sports for this morning back to you guys all right, thank you, Justin. And it's been a rite of passage for American teenagers for decades, turning 16 and getting a driver's license. That's right, but for one Wisconsin teen, she didn't take her driving test in mom's minivan or dad's sedan like most. Meredith Barrick explains why her recent trip to the DMV was a pretty big deal. If you really would like to have a lifetime story. It's a challenge you would only receive from your dad. He just kind of put me up to the challenge. He's always kind of pushing me to do things I don't really think I can do. But 16-year-old Alexa Horkin was up for it. I said yes to it and it. Taking her driver's exam in the family's 31-foot RV, that is. As the date approached, there were questions that surfaced that led me to believe that she may or may not be in on that idea. Sure enough, she got behind the wheel of the RV and it was off to the DMV. I just had the mindset of like, it's one time and then I'll either make the memory and if I fail, then I'll come back and try again. I don't see any damage yet, Lexi. Luckily, it only took her one try. Alexa credits a lot of practice and not having to parallel park the RV. Thankfully, I didn't actually have to do on the test. A proud mom and dad. I was happy that, you know, she took the opportunity to take on the challenge. And an even happier newly licensed driver. I was just beyond like excited and 
kind of shocked. <laughs> oh, and don't expect Alexa to be cruising around town in this bad boy anytime soon. That was probably just a one time thing. Make the memory. Now I'll hopefully get a car, <laughs> regular car. I gotta say, Lewis, that but, is pretty brave of her. That is really brave, because I remember in my driving test, we didn't have to parallel park where we had to do like a three-point turn where you go up, yeah. you back in, pull forward, and then go around. I, That's scary. In an RV? Are you kidding me? No it, way. If, if I had a parallel park, I'd have probably failed driver's ed. Did you have any? I didn't. Did you have any uh, like interesting driver's ed moments back in the day? No, but besides, I could never, somebody asked me this morning if I could, if I learned how to drive a stick. Oh, yeah, you've never... And I've had three people teach, try to teach me, and I just didn't ever sink in. Really? <laughs> I just never get it. Well, uh, in North Carolina, we would do drivers at, like, we would, so we could start getting it, our learner's permit at yep. 14, mm -hmm. and you had to take a test, and then you had to drive with a student, or like, with a driver. Oh, like, yeah, Like a I guy who drove around. Yep. So the girl I was driving with, it was her first time ever getting in. We started to go down a hill. She started to go a little too fast. It was a big turn. She drove right into a neighbor's yard. Oh, like straight shoot. into the front yard. And we just Not stopped there. And we're like, well. well and then. then I got out and walked the rest of the way. I was like, OK, I'm done. <laughs> I'm good. No I'm more good. of this. Rather take your chances hitchhiking. Yeah, I just hitchhiked the rest of the way home. <laughs> oh my. All right, I'm at 6.30 on your Tuesday morning. More news and weather on the way. We'll be right back. Black Hills Barbecue would like to invite you to 2060 West Main Street in Rapid City, South Dakota. We we'll smoke our meats low and slow on our smoker right outside. Come on down to Black Hills Barbecue and try our delicious ribs, succulent brisket, our smoked pulled pork, amazing smoked ribeyes, all of our sides, desserts, and our wonderful smoked prime rib on Saturdays. Visit us Sunday through Thursday from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Fridays and Saturdays we're open until 10. Come as a customer. Enjoy our staff and leave us family. family. Start your New Year's off with the Rapid City Rush. Join the rush to kick off your night before heading out to celebrate. The puck drops early at 6.35. Then on Saturday, January 2nd, it's our halfway to 4th of July night. Come out for a summer-themed game, complete with specialty baseball jerseys to be auctioned off after the game. Dress as your favorite baseball player for your chance to win four Rockies tickets. Rush versus Oilers, December 31st and January 2nd. Secure your seats now by calling 716-PUCK or at rapidcityrush.com. Introducing the most advanced in adventure technology. Reality at your fingertips. Get out. Not virtual, but actual. Get ready to get out. Experience the new outdoor motorsports. Get out. Coming up on News Center One today, the softer side of Robert De Niro comes out in his new home video view release, The Intern, that comes out today. Raphael Seth has more. Then, thousands of volunteers join artists on Sunday to help decorate floats for the upcoming New Year's Day Rose Parade. More on the hours that the volunteers put in. And if you're looking for a job in the new year, we have a list of some of the top paying jobs with or without a degree. More on what jobs are paying the most. Tuesday, December 29th, 2015. You're watching New Center One today with Anya Mueller. Meteorologist Lewis Dorch and Monica Davis. All right, and welcome back to the second half of News Center One today. I'm Anya Mueller. And I'm Lewis Dorch. There's Planet Fitness where Monica Davis is hanging out this morning, yep. talking about some uh, New Year's resolution. We're starting to think about that time. We're we like, are. We're mm -hmm. like, well, you know what? We've gone through the holidays. 
It's almost added, January. Added I added a couple five, ten pounds. I guess maybe Gosh. I'm thinking about getting a membership somewhere. <laughs> Yes. If I have to. So yes. that's where Monica is this morning. Giving us all the information. We'll be checking in with her throughout the morning. I think she's already getting a workout in as well. She is. I, I didn't see her break a sweat yet. No, I haven't seen her break a so sweat. So maybe she'll have to do that. Yeah, hopefully next time maybe she'll be like doing some push-ups or like. 1,087. Yeah, go all anchorman on it. That'd be good. <laughs> yeah, but we'll be checking in with her in just a few minutes. Now, yesterday, Anya, we ran a story on uh, winter hiking. Remember? Yes, it's like you, yeah. like you got to do... You know, maybe take a little extra time to prepare. You got to bundle up, make mm -hmm. sure you're ready to do the winter hiking. Now, even though it takes a little bit longer, it's still like so much fun. Like, I really enjoy it. We went to the Badlands on Sunday, so if it's all right, I have a few pictures. You love that place. I do. Why don't you just I, move to the Badlands? I love the ba Liz. I might just get move a tent to the Badlands and go there. if I can. And there's and there's a lot less people there. And so <laughs> one animals. of the things in the winter is we saw mountain goats like all over the yeah. place. And there's one guy who was just you know chilling, looking at us. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Not mountain of goats, big horns, big okay. horns. So this was one guy we found, uh, which which was nice. We saw a lot of them, and then we went for a little hike. And Ooh. you do have to watch out because what? with the snow, there's random holes. So Heath is standing right Yikes. there. He was walking. Next thing you know, he was up to his neck in some <laughs> random hole in snow. That's a little scary. And I thought it was funny. I took a picture, but he thought it was funny at first. But he was like, No, 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 no I'm done. I'm done. Get me out of here. Get me out of I here. I wouldn't think that was funny if I was in the hole. Yeah, no, it was a fairly <laughs> deep hole, yeah. And then here's uh, me and Mary Lou were just chilling. It was pretty Mary deep chilling. snow. We, uh, yeah. She looks kind of like a little marshmallow or a little sumo baby. Sumo, sumo baby Good in that thing. Good thing you didn't fall in a hole when you had her. Yeah, I know. Tell me about <laughs> it. But she is such a great hiker. She just chills there. The entire time we were hiking for like an hour and a half or so and just the whole time just just happy little out. baby oh yeah just hanging out so if you have some time i would definitely suggest trying to get down there to the badlands or just do some sort of winter hiking but if you do bundle up on you because how about these temperatures three right now in rapid city one i'm sorry 11 at mount rushmore three in custer six in hot springs negative two in Pine Ridge. These aren't the wind chills, these are our actual temperatures, but if you do factor in the wind chills, it's feeling much colder than that. And we're really not gonna warm it up a whole lot by this afternoon. Six by 9 a.m., 15 by noon, 14 by three o'clock. Winds out of the north, five to 10 miles per hour. So depending on how hard the wind's blowing, we could see wind chills throughout the day, anywhere from negative 10 to five degrees. Now the good news is, by 2016, by Friday, we're gonna see a nice little warm up, plenty of sunshine, and we'll look at that here in just a few minutes. All right, sounds good, and it might be a time to stay indoors and watch some movies. Oh, I think, I think so. Robert De Niro is regarded as one of the toughest guys in Hollywood. Yep, and with movies like Raging Bull and Goodfellas, he cemented his legacy as a character you don't want to mess with on screen. But his second act has been more comical. His roles in Analyze This and Meet the Parents skewered his hard persona. And now we get to more of his soft side this week with the home release of The Intern. Raphael Seth has more in this week's Home Video View. I'm Ben Whitaker. I have an appointment with Miss Austin. Robert De Niro starts from the bottom in The Intern. He's a career businessman bored with retired life, so he signs on to become an intern at an up-and-coming dot-com run by Anne Hathaway, where the savvy veteran teaches young dogs old tricks. I'm tired of life being all about ailments and funerals. Robert Redford stretches his legs in A Walk in the Woods. He's feeling a little restless after the death of a friend, so he decides to hike the Appalachian Trail, a 2,000-mile journey that may leave him wishing he was six feet under. Rupert Friend gets a lot of bang for his buck in the bonus features for Hitman Agent 47. He's a genetically modified organism assigned to take out a pretty lady, but when he discovers she's a killing machine like him, the two decide to turn the tables on the program that made them. You know I never hurt you, right? Do I? Michael Ely shows a few flaws in The Perfect Guy. Sana Lathan is fresh off a breakup when she falls into a relationship with the charming Casanova, but when he turns out to be a stalker, she turns to her ex for help. That's the video view, Raphael Seth, NBC News. Now, Lewis, I had never saw the previews for the A Walk in the Woods. I hadn't either, but you know, that that kind of reminds me of, did you see Wild with Reese yes, Witherspoon? Yes, Jack the Pacific Crest yeah. Trail? I loved that movie, and so that hiking the uh, Appalachian Trail. I can see you doing that. Have you, you ever done that? I, I, I've hiked <laughs> on it. I've hiked on it. I've never done the through through hike, but that's something. I would like to do, and I say I will do. One day, you will? I will do How it. How long do you think it would take you? Oh, months. I see, I thought that was Appalachians. 
But it's Appalachian. No, it's if you Appalachian. Go, if you go to the south, that's you how go you to say. Down, you're gonna say Appalachian Mountains. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. It's still to come. Preparations are underway for the big Rose Parade in California, and this year there's a Black Hills connection. We'll tell you about it after the break. You're watching New Center One today, and we'll be right back. During this season of time with family and celebration, there are those who spend their holiday ensuring your safety. Please take a moment to join New Center One and thank the dedicated heroes of EMS who are celebrating the holidays responding to our emergencies. We are excited to see you at Rapid City's Meadowbrook Golf Course, now offering 2016 season passes at the 2015 rate through December 31st, 2015. The 18-hole championship course winds around beautiful Rapid Creek with picturesque backdrops and pristine landscaping. Meadowbrook is the perfect place for beginners and experts alike. Meadowbrook Golf Course is the clear local favorite. Don't miss out on the savings for your 2016 season passes by December 31st, 2015. Shopping is easy by phone, online, or just stop in to see us. The research here at St. Jude is very important. It gave my daughter a second chance at life. Because we have donors that believe in what we're doing, we can really move our research forward much faster. St. Jude is working to drive the overall survival rate for childhood cancer to 90% in the next decade. And we won't stop until no child dies from cancer. Because of you. Gracias a ti. Because of you. There is St. Jude. What started out as Girls Club in 1965, Beef and Family Services has grown to become one of the most comprehensive and respected family development programs in Western South Dakota. YFS serves more than 11,000 children and their families each year, encouraging them to go beyond the possible and discover their dreams through education, nutrition, advocacy, and prevention services. Find out how you can help support children and families in your community by visiting yfsfoundation.org or call 342-4195. In the Black Hills, the weather can go from this to this in an instant. And the New Center One weather team is there for all the seasons. So when the seasons change, New Center One will be there. Your one weather source for all four seasons. You're watching New Center One today. Weather with meteorologist Lewis Storch. And welcome back to New Center One today. A very good Tuesday morning, everyone. Let's take a quick look at our current wind chills outside. I already mentioned that, yeah, it is cold and factor in the wind chills. And oh, we're seeing most areas with those temperatures in the negative numbers. It feels like negative nine Rapid City, negative nine Spearfish, negative 14 in Kester, negative nine in Newcastle, three Phillip, 10 to pre, 13 in face. So we're going to bundle up this morning and we're really not going to see a whole lot difference as we get later on into the day. Now we are seeing a little bit of snow falling as well. This is off to the east of us. This is from the big system that dropped all the heavy snow and tornadoes and flooding for parts of Texas and the Midwest. Now for the most part it is just light snow. However, if you do have plans to travel east towards Sioux Falls and Pier, Sioux Falls and, Pier, and also towards the Faith area this morning, you are going to see some slick spots on the road. So just keep an eye on road conditions and just keep that in mind maybe give yourself just a little extra time as far as our satellite radar goes the big picture here's that system that's going to continue to track off to the east behind that we're going to see this stationary front to develop this is pretty much just going to hang out for uh, the next couple of days so we're not going to see a lot of sunshine pretty much a mix of sun and clouds overhead however by the weekend so late thursday moving into friday this big area of high pressure is going to develop that's going to slowly track east. What this is going to do is clear out all the cloud cover that you see right here. So we're going to see plenty of sunshine and temperatures are on the warm up as well. We'll look at that in your seven day forecast. Zooming in just a little bit closer. We'll stop this afternoon at 3.30 p.m. Cloudy skies, east, driver, east river, west river. We'll see a mix of sun and clouds, partly sunny to partly cloudy skies overhead. By tomorrow, pretty much the same thing. We're not going to get our temperatures out of the teens, mostly cloudy for your Wednesday. Then pushing into Thursday, that stationary front moves through, so we'll start to clear out the skies. Like I said, plenty of sunshine starting on Friday. And we'll look at that here in just a minute. For today, mostly teens and 20s, 20 Custer, 17 Newcastle, 17 also in Spearfish, 16 Rapid City with those winds out of the north, five to 10 miles per hour. So depending on how fast that wind's blowing, we could see wind chills up to negative 10, even to five degrees throughout the day. Tonight, it is going to be frigid one for an overnight low. Light winds, mostly cloudy skies overhead. Then for tomorrow, a little bit warmer, but not much. 19 
for a high in Rapid City under mostly cloudy skies. Like I said, it will be cool through Thursday, but then we're going to start to warm it up on Friday and through the weekend. That high pressure built in, plenty of sunshine, 38 on Friday, 43 on Saturday, and then temperatures right away where we should be on both Sunday and Monday with highs in the mid to upper 30s. ClickBigDeals.com, the current offer, it is sold out. You could have gotten a $20 coupon to Jam Bones in Sturgis for just $8. That is a big savings of 60%. I said this one was going to sell out fast, and just like I said, it did. Anya. All right, thank you, Lewis. And thousands of volunteers join artists over the weekend to help decorate floats for the upcoming New Year's Day Rose Parade. Artists are working around the clock in anticipation for the parade on Friday. And according to parade organizers, it will take more than 10,000 hours for completion. That's a fact the volunteers definitely agree with. Work goes into this until like today. So the Rose Parade is amazing. Mm -hmm. It's fun to watch and then you're watching it on TV and you're like, look, I did that. 2016 marks the 127th year for the Rose Parade, and this year's parade will be extra special as the South Dakota Department of Tourism will have a presence. And in honor of the event, Mount Rushmore National Memorial is inviting everyone to spend New Year's Day at the mountain and enjoy the parade on a big screen in the Carver's Cafe from 9 to 11 a.m. And still to come on New Center One today, if you're looking for a job in the new year, we check out the top paying jobs with or without a degree. Details after the break. We'll be right back. Success in business is about growing your bottom line. Now, there are two ways you can do this. Increase revenue and decrease spending. This is where we come in. At a &B Business Solutions, our managed print services will optimize your print environment, reducing your total printing costs while improving workflow. Managed print services will impact your bottom line. MPS, it's just another solution from a and B, the company that helps you solve, simplify, and save. Call Air Sir, we'll put you in your comfort zone. Is your heating and cooling system in need of a little attention? From repair and replacement to preventive maintenance, air quality, and more, AirServe of the Black Hills is focused on you. Locally owned and operated, we offer 24-7 residential and commercial service, guaranteed work, upfront explanations, and no overtime charges. You can count on our licensed, expertly trained technicians to keep your home comfortable year-round. AirServe of the Black Hills, we treat your home like it's our own. This Christmas, find that perfect gift at Booty and Loot. Come in and enjoy friendly and pleasant shopping while browsing our upscale resale inventory. We have wall art, collectibles, vintage and retro items, and even furniture and lots of man cave decor, too. With new and gently loved items, you are sure to find that extra special item for your loved one. Now for Christmas, enjoy 20 to 30% off store-wide. Stop down at Booty and Loot upscale resale for all your gifting needs. 2130 Jackson Boulevard, Rapid City. Smooth, rich coffee. There's simply no better way to start your morning. Whether it's with our dark roast coffee, Colombian, or our breakfast blend, mornings are simply better with common sense coffee. These 100% Arabica coffees deliver a smooth, pleasant, easy to drink cup with a wonderful aroma and a delightfully inviting aftertaste. Right now at Common Sense, you can enjoy a 12 ounce cup of your favorite coffee for only 99 cents, guaranteeing you a great cup of coffee. Common Sense Food Stores, we're so convenient. Welcome back to New Center One today. Well, here's a look at consumer headlines this morning. If you're looking for a job in the new year, here are some top paying jobs with or without a degree. According to the Labor Department's 2016-17 Occupational Outlook Handbook, elevator installers and repairers hold the best paying job one can find with just a high school education, earning a median annual pay of $78,620. Job seekers with a degree could qualify to become an air traffic controller with a median annual annual salary of $122,000. Architectural and engineering managers will earn $130,000 a year. And no surprise here, the top paying overall field is a surgeon earning $187,000 annually. And if you're not quite ready to start your New Year's job hunt, here's one for you. If you find yourself dozing off before your show or movie is over, Netflix may have a solution. The streaming service has posted this DIY guide to creating a pair of holiday-themed smart socks capable of detecting when you've fallen asleep. 
If that happens, whatever you were watching will automatically pause so you won't lose your place. If you would like to make a pair, you can find the Netflix DIY video on YouTube. And if you do happen to finish that TV marathon over the holidays, maybe you'll use your new fitness tracker. Apple's Fitbit was a top holiday gift this year. The Activity Tracker's free app was one of the top downloads in the U.S. on Christmas Day, according to Apple. Company officials say it seems that Fitbit is maintaining its position as a popular option for customers looking to improve their fitness levels through using an activity tracking device. And working on her fitness this morning, Monica Davis is focusing on New Year's resolutions this morning at a new gym in town, Planet Fitness. We'll check in with her just after the break. Stay with us. We'll be right back. One dollar. That's all it takes to start enjoying a membership at Planet Fitness. Four quarters will get you the best equipment in our judgment-free zone. So join Planet Fitness now for just one dollar down and ten dollars a month. Join Planet Fitness for only one dollar down during our year-end countdown sale. Offer ends Thursday. Are you tired of getting socks and ugly sweaters for Christmas? Come to Billion Kia where we're giving away a brand new Kia. I'm not talking about a toy car. I'm talking about a brand new Kia. From now until January 4th, stop by Billion Kia and test drive any vehicle for a chance to register to win a new 2016 Kia Rio. No purchase necessary. This powerful subcompact car is as much fun to look at as it is to drive. Our wish to you this holiday season is to save and be merry at Billion Kia in Rapid City or at BillionAuto.com. This New Year's weekend, The Lodge at Deadwood Gaming Resort is the only place to celebrate as we give away over $50,000 in cash to our players. On New Year's Eve, we are giving away $500 every 20 minutes from 2 p.m. to 2 a.m. And the celebration continues on New Year's Day as we give away $500 hot seats from noon to midnight. To win a $500 hot seat, simply use your Club 76 card at any slot machine or table game. Ring in the New Year at The Lodge at Deadwood Gaming Resort, the local's choice for New Year's gaming excitement. At Consumer Credit Counseling Services, we take pride in the fact that we help people to live a better life. So many of us are playing the stress game with our debt, and slowly it will take control. Now is the time to take that control back. Consumer Credit Counseling Services offers free financial education classes, debt management programs, and free housing and counseling sessions. We are a nonprofit, part of the United Way, and have been providing immediate debt relief to consumers for over 30 years. Your financially successful future starts here. One dollar. That's all it takes to start enjoying a membership at Planet Fitness. Four quarters will get you the best equipment in our judgment-free zone. So join Planet Fitness now for just one dollar down and ten dollars a month. Join Planet Fitness for only one dollar down during our year-end countdown sale. Offer ends Thursday. Welcome back to News Center One today. I'm live here at Planet Fitness this morning, and January is right around the corner. It's this Friday. I don't know where 2015 went, but normally whenever you make those New Year's resolutions, you're thinking about making healthier lifestyle choices, and Planet Fitness prides themselves on being a judgment-free zone, so I'm here with Matt this morning. And Matt, tell me a little bit about if people want to make healthier choices, why they should choose your gym. Right, so at Planet Fitness, one thing that's very unique about us is we offer unlimited fitness training with your membership. That's an additional cost at most gyms, it's not. It's free here. And behind us is actually our trainer's schedule. So when people start a gym or they're looking to get back into a gym, there's two really big fears. One, I don't know how to use any of these machines. Two, I don't know what machines to use even if I did know how to use them. So with this schedule back here, the trainer has classes that literally show you how to use every piece of equipment in the gym. She also does what's called the design your own program. That's a very good class to get started with. Basically what you do is you get a meet with the trainer, you sit down with her, talk to her about your goals, your medical history, and how long you want to work out, and she'll design a workout specifically for you. So by taking that class combined with these classes, learning how to use the equipment, not only will you know how to use the machines, but you're going to know exactly what machines to use as well, which just makes it so much easier when you're trying to get set like on a new workout program. Absolutely. It's always good to have someone to kind of guide you in the right direction. And you're right, you know, coming in here, it can be intimidating, not knowing what to do with all of these machines. So, you know, I look back here and I see the design your own program. And then there's also abs and arms. So tell me what would happen in the abs class. Right. So first off, 
Um, what I didn't say is all these classes are first come, first serve, but we never put more than five people in a class. So it still feels small. It doesn't feel like you're in a giant group getting you know, alienated. So with these classes, in an abs class per se, she takes five people out on the floor and she'll do three to four exercises with you, all geared towards working your abs. Then if you want to take that information and incorporate it into your workout, you certainly can. Otherwise, it's just new ideas. Because when you're trying to work out, the best thing to do is always try to switch it up. Your body gets stuck in that routine and it just gets used to the same exercises. So by taking classes like these, it helps keep the workouts new and exciting. So Okay. So you can just learn how to incorporate those things in. And Matt, you know, you only opened your doors, what, last week? Yep, last Thursday. Last mm -hmm. Thursday. So how has the flow of traffic been so far, and what are you expecting for January? Um, it has been pretty slow so far. It may not feel to it to the employees here, but um, we actually have been pretty slow. Um, you know, the good thing about Planet Fitness is just because we have so much equipment, there's still little to no wait time when you do come in, um, but it is the New Year's and the gyms do get busy. No matter what gym you are, you're gonna get busy. So it's one of those things where when you come in, um, you know we're gonna take care of everybody as soon as we can and as quickly as possible, so. Awesome, and one thing I have to ask is, you know, a lot of people start these resolutions and then they get discouraged after two weeks. So what would you say to someone to just keep going? Well, and the first thing I would do is definitely talk to the trainer. And the other thing I would do is try to find a workout buddy. That's almost the best motivation for anybody is always having that, they call it accountability buddy with them to help them keep that workout going. Accountability so. buddy, I love that. So you can go ahead and get yourself a buddy and come and check out the gym. And hopefully that'll help you keep on the right track for your health and fitness goals. So stay tuned, you're watching News for One today. We'll be right back after this short break. My name is Dave Piercy. I'm air traffic controller here at Rapid City Regional Airport, and I love my church. My name is Ashley. I'm a student at University Center Rapid City. I love my church. I'm Steve, and I'm a mechanic at Black Hills Harley Davidson, and I love my church. Our mission is simple. We want to show people who Jesus is. My name is David, and I'm the lead pastor of Fountain Springs Community Church, and I love my church. Learn to feel safe with and against weapon attacks with Marshall Blade Concepts. Learn the real self-defense ability to immediately and decisively stop an assailant from continuing their attack. This world-renowned defense system is coming to Rapid City. Mondays at 6 p.m. at the Sonano Karate Club, 1019 Farlow Avenue. Marshall Blade Concepts is an edged weapon system specifically designed to meet the needs of today's concerned citizen and armed professional. Register now by calling Ben Geary at 605-545-1397. Wednesday, January 6th, Laura's back. Dead body? Yay! New year. New Laura. Omaha, Omaha, hike. New Mysteries of Laura, Wednesday, January 6th on NBC. A teacher-student affair. Half a teacher happens everywhere. But when the teacher follows through... That's right. But get ready for the SVU twist. My client was set up by someone, and we know who. New SVU, Wednesday, January 6th on NBC. Welcome back. Times Square will host its annual confetti test Tuesday in preparation for the New Year's Eve celebration. That's right. Handfuls of colorful confetti <laughs> will be tossed from the marquee of the Hard Rock Cafe. In 2014, characters from the Broadway musical Aladdin helped to toss this small sample of confetti on a group of onlookers. Officials say 3,000 pounds will be released <sighs> when the clock strikes midnight on January 1st, 2016. The confetti will Look include pieces with handwritten wishes from people who submitted oh them at the wishing wall. That's cute. Yeah. Okay, so I would like to toss the confetti, but I would not want to clean it up. No, no. I want to be charged of that. No, not at all. And we want to remind you all that we will be up at the historic Silverado Franklin Hotel on New Year's Eve. 
getting ready for the ball drop up there. Always a great party. I think Lauren Zenzi and Bob Riggio will That's be up right. there, correct? They like to party. They like to party so up there. Doing and we'll, it all night. And we'll be uh, broadcasting some of the live events as well. Look right at that. Here, There's our new their center confetti. One. I think this was last year. That, that, I think this was last year. The ball <laughs> drop. It's like fast forward move. Look, look at the people outside. Holy I mean, it's cats. always a good party because the ball drops. You have people filling the oh, streets yeah. of Deadwood. It's, uh, it's going to be a good time. I'm excited. But is it going to be cold? It will be cold. So you okay. are going to want to bundle up. And I'll like we said, that. no shorty dresses for no the No shorty dresses. Or, Take from uh, yeah. Mother Anya, like the, uh, yes. like the advice she was giving wear us yesterday. Clothes, right? Wear clothes. Young lady, wear clothes <laughs> before you head out the door. You're going out in that? Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. Put a coat on. Exactly. It's winter. Gloves. Did you hear that a lot? I can, ski I mask. Can, I can imagine you hearing that a lot. She's like, Anya, are you kidding me? Put a coat on. No, I always wore lots of clothes, Louis. I don't believe know. Me I, okay, I believe you. I believe you. <laughs> as far as your weather goes, we, you definitely need to bundle up for today because it is going to be chilly. 16 for a high in Rapid City. We'll see partly sunny to partly cloudy skies depending on how fast that wind's blowing out of the north. For at 5 to 10 miles per hour, wind chills anywhere from negative 5 to 5 degrees. And that's going to lead to another frigid overnight temperature. 1 degrees will drop that low down to mostly cloudy with those winds light and variable. For your seven-day forecast, we'll see teens once again tomorrow, 20s on Thursday, and there's a nice little warm-up with temperatures right around where we should be, getting closer to average starting on Friday. It should be a very nice start to the 2016 year, 38 on New Year's Day, 43 on Saturday, mid to upper 30s on both Sunday and Monday. That's all the time that we have this morning. Thank you for joining us on this Tuesday. And we will see you back here tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. And have a great day, everyone.